What would you do? Punch him. You would punch him. You would want to kill him. You'd beat his ass, right? Probably. Promises. We talked about making false promises. Include your spouse. Include that significant other. You're going to lose some friends along the way. You know, there's a rule that I had, and it was like with my dad. When we first, early on, when Andy and I first started dating, is like, I'm never going to say negative things about Andy. My dad thinks Andy's Jesus. Oh, my God. And he thinks he's perfect. He thinks we don't fight. He's never, ever, ever heard me complain. I'm not the type of girl that goes and complains, oh, mom. Oh, Dad, Andy this, did this to me. I had so many friends that would be like, oh, I don't understand why my parents don't like my husband. Well, you did that to them. You talked about a lie. Your parents love you, obviously. They're never going to forget. And then you show up, you forgive each other, and then you show up with your hands together, and they're like, oh, stupid. Yeah, I, can't believe she, I can't believe she forgave him for, uh, she forgave him for that. But she's so dumb. Like, you're doing that to yourself, so don't talk that negativity to each other. We talk about fighting. We're the, you know, Sean was talking earlier about me being very hard, you know, and, you know, putting him through the ringer, not allowing him to lie to his wife and everything. And, or, you know, we, we, we believe in fighting being healthy, but there are rules to fighting. When you're in your, with your, with your uh, significant other, you can fight, but there's a such thing as fighting fair. So, I have this these little thing. I wrote this book, and I almost want to like. I know we don't have a lot of time, and that's why I'm kind of like, oh shoot, what do I talk about? Because I was supposed to talk a lot longer, but I'm just like running out of time. But, but healthy couples fight for resolution. Unhealthy couples fight to win, win, win. It's all about personal victory. So I have this rule in marriage. Okay, dish it out. Don't ever leave the room. Don't ever walk away. Don't ever blow your steam and go for a drive. You talk about stuff. But remember, you fight fair. You don't fight to hurt people. You should feel like you're together in this. So, hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I give this example of these, this, this person, if you're at a gas station, for example, and you have your wife, a husband and wife are together, and somebody were to come up to your wife and say, you were so stupid, what would you do? Punch him. You would punch him. You would want to kill him. You'd beat his ass, right? Probably, right? But here again, we have this double standard because you can come up to your wife and tell her you're so freaking stupid, and you're doing it yourself. So sometimes when other people are, are mean to our spouse, like we take offense and we freaking want to beat their ass, but at the same time we're doing that to each other. We're taking each other for granted. We're insulting each other. We're fighting to win instead of fighting to actually get through things and understand each other, okay? So the first thing is like sometimes when we say certain things to each other, like I might tell Andy, hey Andy, uh, you did this to me and it really affected me and I'm telling them like 10 or 15 different things of why it affected me the wrong way. And I might mess up on one little detail on that and then he might be like, hey, 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 wait a second. I didn't do that. And then all of a sudden, all those 15 other things that were accurate because when we get emotional sometimes, we don't explain ourselves the proper way because we get emotion, or we let our emotions sink in. And then he gets caught in that little detail and then he has his way out because sometimes as salespeople, all we want to do is when we grab onto the one thing that wasn't really important, you're smiling because you know this is true, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, it, it discounts all the other 15 things because we just want to win and we find our way out in that little tiny little detail that meant nothing. And then we're just like, like, why do I even tell you this? Do you not care about me? Like, I'm trying to tell you that you did this, 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 and that. And then all of a sudden, you're like, so it's all about the personal victory. It's all about fighting fair here. It's all about resolution. It's all about wanting to grow. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. 
I'll see you soon.